Hello and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by my productions. I'm Mohammed and today I'll be showing you how to fix errors with USBs, external hard drives, memory card for phones and also SD card for cameras. Uh, these errors are common errors which is the reason I'm making this tutorial so that I can uh, cover everything I can to fix and recover data from a USB. So first of all let's get started by what's the most common thing that you can do or the first thing you can do when you get errors like these. The first thing I would recommend you do for external hard drives in USB is to plug your USB in back into the port that you've previously been using it in. What this will do is this will allow uh, to make sure that it's not a driver problem because if it's a driver problem then it shouldn't occur on the drive that you've been using it on. So try it in the same old port you used to use it in. Now the second method for this would be to run a disk check. So to do this press the start button and type in command and when you type in command um, you should come up with command prompt as an option right click on that and click run as administrator when you're running the command prompt as an administrator in here type in chk dsk and after that you need to type in after a space you need to type in your drive letter so for drive letter for my USB which is causing me a problem is G Make sure this correct letter is correct, otherwise you might end up messing around with the drive that you don't want to. So type in G and put a colon and then space forward slash. Now this here you have two options, or you can run both of them. They're both beneficial for your USB. It's type in F, which uh, removes all the errors on the disk, or R, which recovers or locates all the bad sectors and repairs them. So if you try both of them and see which one works for you. For me, it doesn't look like none of them work. So I'd have to try the other option. Now my USB drive is actually was actually brand new and I had to mess around with it for this error to come up so there wasn't really much data on it. But I'm still gonna try and recover a few pictures that I had on there. So I'm just gonna cancel this. Now the final options you have is to use third party software. I've given the download link in the description for both of these so feel free to download from the description link the first one is free you can actually go on their website and download it yourself it's find a mount if you double click on that partition find a mount will open up what this does is this scans your drive and makes uh, and selects the partition and makes an ISO file to be able to mount uh, which you'll be able to mount and then you'll be able to recover the data from there so if I click scan it gives you three options intellectual normal and thorough the first one is the fastest one, second one is normal, and the last one is the longest. So this will scan through every sector and it will search for every valid partition it can find. But this one takes a lot longer depending on how big your drive is. Last time I ran this on a 500 GB external hard drive and it took me about 3 hours. So if I just run an intellectual on my USB, it's completed but it didn't find any partition because to be honest I've only used it once so far. So if that doesn't work for you, you can try the second option. And this is probably my favorite one, is US Data Recovery. So I love this software because I've used it before many times and it's never let me down so far. So if you deleted something from your recycling bin, make sure you're running this software on a drive which you're not going to be running a test on. So if you're going to be running a test on C drive, make sure this is installed on a G drive or your external hard drive. Because if you install it and run it on the same drive, then it will cause you problems when recovering data and it can even corrupt your your memory so the second option you have is to um, what's this one files lost due to format so if you formatted your drive you can do that and the final one is partition recovery what this does is this looks through the whole partition and grabs everything it can from it so I usually like running partition recovery what it will then do is it will give you options to what kind of file you want to recover. I'd like to select all. Now I'll give you uh, options on which drive to run it on. I want to run it on this USB 2.0 G drive. If you're not sure which one it is, check the drive letter, go on computer, and make sure it's the right one. So mine G, that's correct. Click and click next. Now this will run um, a scan through the the drive and it'll see what it can find if you're running it, this on a 500 GB or 1 TB this can take you around about 8 hours to 5 hours 
depending on how big your drive is. But this is usually the best option to recover your data. After recovering your data, copy it to somewhere else and then format your drive and copy it back. So that is pretty much the three options that you have of recovering data uh, from your USB, from your memory card, from your uh, SD card for your camera, etc. Apart from that, if you have any other solutions that might be helpful for other people, then please do leave it in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to include it in the description so that everyone else can use it for their benefits. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time.